Hey, Sophia, why don't you get started on dinner? I expect it to be ready by the time I get home in 20 minutes. All right. Is pasta okay for tonight? Pasta? Are we supposed to be broke or something? I'm not stooping down to eat what college students survive on. I actually love pasta. It's one of Sonny's favorite dishes. And guess what? I already made a big pot of it. I even added chicken and broccoli to make it more filling and nutritious. Ugh, that sounds absolutely revolting. How on earth can you and Sonny stomach that slop? It's my grandmother's recipe. My mom used to make it for me when I was a little kid. I thought I liked it. I tolerated it, but now I don't feel like eating that garbage anymore. Your palate is nowhere near as refined as mine. I want you to make me sushi. That's what I want for dinner. All right, I'll see what I can do. Actually, I might have to go to the store. Stop complaining and just do it. Okay. Okay? Is that how you talk to your husband? You mean, yes, sir, I hope. All right, but before you come home, I have one more request. Sunny is already fast asleep, so when you arrive, could you please try to be quiet? I'll leave the door unlocked for you. What? How is he already asleep? Shouldn't he be waiting to say goodnight to father when he gets home? I'm the head of this household, and I demand the respect I deserve. He really needs his leave, especially with the finals coming up tomorrow. It's important for him to rest and be prepared. However, if you really insist, I suppose I can wake him up for you. Good. Do it. What is he doing sleeping anyway? If he has a test tomorrow, shouldn't he be studying instead of wasting his time in bed? Oh, it's not that kind of final. It's actually the final match for his soccer tournament. He talked about it last night while we were having dinner. I'm not sure if you forgot or simply weren't paying attention. I'm a busy man with important things to do. Keeping up with his schedule is your job, not mine. And why is he still wasting his time playing soccer? I distinctly remember telling him it's a complete waste of time. He should have quit already, just like I told him to. But come on. Sonny and his team are killing it out there. It would be such a shame if he called it quits now. They might even end up winning the whole league. His coach really believes in him. Thinks he's got what it takes. Plus, even if going pro doesn't work out, there's still the chance he could score a sports scholarship and go to a great school for free. Besides, he's still only in middle school. It's good for him to get out and have some fun with his friends. He should be able to be a kid at least a little. Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. I highly doubt he's even capable of pulling that off. Just go wake him up right now. I expect him to be alert enough to greet his father properly. But he was out with his team practicing all day. He's exhausted. He needs his rest. What's the point of all this if he's just going to end up broke and living on the streets by the time he hits 20? And you think he'll take care of me when I'm old? Yeah, right. I know damn well you won't. He'd be better off studying his butt off now. So he can actually have a shot at success later in life instead of wasting his days chasing some stupid dream. You're the one holding him back by encouraging this delusion of his. Oh, here we go again. Are we seriously diving into the blame game once more? Why is it that I always seem to bear the brunt of the blame for everything that goes wrong? I get it. We rushed into marriage before Sonny was born. And you seem to hold me responsible for how things turned out. But let's be real here. It wasn't more my fault than it was yours. Neither of us were truly prepared to be parents at that time. Oh, maybe you weren't ready, but I sure as hell was. I had a solid plan of how I wanted to raise my son right from the day he was born. 
and I won't stop until I see it through to the very end. But you, you just coddle him and let him do whatever he wants. If his grades keep spiraling down the way they are, he's going to turn out just like you. Do you think that he needs to get his grades up? Maybe if you helped him with studying a little. I'm just saying you could help a little bit more. I just think we could probably both contribute a bit to Sonny's life and help him out a bit more. And some of this isn't anyone's fault. Oh, what a convenient excuse. Blame it all on someone else, as usual. None of this has anything to do with anyone other than you. Face it, you're just plain unfit to be a mother. I have absolutely nothing to do with it. The only thing I can be thankful for is that he turned out to be a boy. It wouldn't have been so bad to have a girl. She would have turned out to be a complete and utter idiot, just like her mother. And you, you would have coddled her even more than you do with Sunny. Honestly, I wouldn't have a clue what to do if we had a girl. Dodged a bullet there, didn't we? You call me an idiot. But I feel like I should remind you we both graduated from the same university and I was at the top of our class. Just because I'm a woman doesn't make me inferior to you. Don't start sassing me again. Take care of your son. You should be thankful that I even bothered to marry you. You can barely even manage to feed me. Hey, Sophia. You forgot to put silverware in with my lunch. What's the deal? I could have sworn I put them in the bag. Aren't there some on top? I just washed the dishes last night and I remember putting in a fresh set before I went to bed just so I wouldn't forget. I even made sure they're from the set you prefer. Did you look through the entire bag? I might have put them in one of the pockets. Of course I did. Do you think I'm stupid? No, of course not. I'm sorry. I guess I could have forgotten to put them in. Maybe your office has some plastic ones you can use in the kitchen? I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't be caught dead using plastic. I'm better than that. I deserve to eat with real silverware, not cheap plastic stuff like a poor person's picnic. I'm not sure what else you can do then. How have you not figured it out already? You'll come here and bring me a fresh set of cutlery. You want me to go all the way to your office just to bring you a knife and fork? Yes, exactly. I expect you to do what you're supposed to do to fix the problem that you created. If you make a mistake on the job, you're the one who's supposed to fix it. If you don't, you get fired. That's how the world works, but you're too stupid to know that. I shouldn't have to suffer just because you messed up. Suffer? Are you really going to suffer if you have to use plastic? I'm too busy to root through the kitchen just to eat my lunch. If you're so busy, you should just eat it with what you can get. Maybe someone has something you can borrow. Use someone else's silverware? That's disgusting. You do it all the time at a restaurant. That's different. Look, the faster you get my silverware, the faster this is over. Fine. It's going to take me a while to get downtown right now. It's going to take me at least an hour to get there. What? Why is it going to take that long? By the time you get here, my lunch break will be over. There's an accident on the highway. Traffic is backed up for a mile. I'll have to go the long way to get there. You better leave now, then. And you're going to have to go well over the speed limit if you're going to make it. I'm not going to risk getting a ticket just to get you a new fork. Get here now. If you're not going to make it in time, I expect an apology at the very least. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I believe you. Didn't sound very sincere. I'm really sorry. I don't know what else to say. Are you making fun of me? I can't believe you won't do this one little thing for your husband. Don't bother. 
I'm done putting up with your attitude. I don't need you to bring me anything. I'll just throw everything away. Happy? That seems like a big waste of food. You know what? I've just realized something. It's all leftovers. I was expecting a freshly made meal, not this slop. You seemed okay with it before. I know there are women who make everything from scratch first thing in the morning before their husbands even wake up. But I just don't think I'm cut out for that. I can respect the women who go out of their way to do all that, but it's so much work. I'd have to get up before the crack of dawn just to make you lunch. Not to mention breakfast on top of that. Isn't that what's expected of wives at the bare minimum? If you're packing leftovers for my lunch, you might as well be giving me table scraps. I'm no better than a dog to you. It's not like that at all. Anyway, I want to get this resolved. Do you want me to make you a new lunch? Finally, you're starting to get it. You really are a brainless little idiot. It shouldn't take this long to get it through your thick skull. Why are you so mad about this? It's just some silverware. Just some silverware? It's not just anything. I still don't understand why you can't use the plastic. It's over. What's over? I've lost my appetite talking to you. You can't even do the easy stuff right. We're getting a divorce. A divorce? Are you serious? Don't joke about things like that. I'm not joking. I've been thinking about it for a while now. I married you because we didn't have a choice. I thought I was doing the right thing and being a man by marrying you. At least at first it was for Sonny's sake. But I didn't realize you'd be such a useless piece of trash. What about Sonny? What do you think is going to happen to him if you leave? I'll take care of him. I wouldn't leave him with you to let him rot away under your influence. You won't be able to afford it anyway. Maybe not. But there's definitely no way you could take care of him. You can barely wash dish. You don't know how a plunger from a frying pan. You can't feed yourself, let alone your son. Then I'll hire someone or learn to cook or something. There's absolutely no way I'd let him stay with you. You're a bad influence on our son. All you do is let him kick around a ball and run around with his friends when he should be studying. He should be getting straight A's. It's all because you don't push him to do more. All you do is screw things up. I should have kept you away from Sonny from the beginning. What do you mean? I do everything I possibly can for the both of you. I cook every meal. I clean the entire house every day. I manage your money. I take Sonny to school and go to every game in practice. I barely have a second for myself. But it doesn't matter what I do. It never seems to be enough for you. You're never satisfied. I think you're just being irrational. Clearly, you're just hungry since you didn't eat your lunch. It's making you grumpy. I'll be sure to have a big dinner for you when you get home. Once you've eaten, we can all have a real conversation about all of this. No, I'm not going to talk to you about this anymore. I'm done. The only thing I'll be doing when I get home is giving you divorce papers. It's sad how much of a disappointment you are. To think, I actually thought you might be worth keeping around when we got married. I'm sorry I ever married you. Emmanuel, why did I just get a letter in the mail about a meeting to arbitrate our divorce proceedings? What is this about? Don't you remember? I said I was dissatisfied with our marriage. So I took some initiative, without even telling you, of course. I thought you would be more grateful. I'm giving you an out. Now you don't have to waste time failing to take care of me and Sonny. You can go find some sad little job flipping burgers while I continue to be successful and raise Sonny to be the man he should be. 
instead of the soft little idiot you're turning him into. I can't believe you're doing this. I thought you were joking. Is this really about the thing with the silverware? I checked by the way when you brought it home. They were in the bag the entire time. If anyone should be apologizing, it should be you to me. Divorce is the last thing I expected. Do you really think that's the real reason? I'm not so petty as to divorce you over a stupid fork. You should be apologizing to me for being such a terrible wife. You can't do anything right. You can barely do any housework. And what you do manage to get off your butt to do is awful. You're forgetful, neglectful, and you hardly even bothered to do the absolute bare minimum. I've been wanting an out of this dead-end marriage for ages, practically since the moment you said I do. Was it really that bad? I thought you were happy for a while anyway. Why do we get married if you hated me all this time? I did it for our son. Of course, I'll take care of him like I said I would. And before you say anything, yes, I'll manage it without you. You need to get out of my life. I guess this is really happening. It's already happened. I don't know why you don't believe it. I guess you really are that stupid. Fine. I live. Are you even planning on coming home tonight? I haven't seen you and I don't even know how long. Are you staying at a hotel again? Yeah, I am. They include meals with the cost of the room. It's cheap hotel food, continental breakfast and dried chicken. But it's better than eating your slop at least. At least I can get something reasonably edible here. And now that you're out of the picture, I wanted to treat myself to something palatable. But now you'll be gone and I can have my house back. The divorce may be underway, but we haven't negotiated everything yet. We need to figure out who gets what. I know you keep a separate account and I won't go after the money. But we need to figure out what happens to Sunny and we need to deal with all the details of taking care of him. It's already decided. I'll take Sonny. You can try to convince the judge, but that's not going to do you any good. He's my child. I was the one who paid for his school and all his bills. I've put in more work earning the money for all that than you do just carrying him around. They'll hand him right over to me for sure. Shouldn't Sonny have some say in this? Sonny is like me. He's not an idiot. He'll know that what I say to do is the right thing. He's old enough to understand that. Whatever. Do what you want. I'm happy to give you just parental rights if you want, if that's all you're after. Looks like you finally get it. It's for the best. You couldn't keep him alive anyway. What else do you have to give? You're a useless lump of a woman. You're not even worth throwing in the trash. I'm surprised you gave in so easily, though. Not that an idiot like you would understand any of this. Where is he? Where's Sonny? Did you take him? He came to me of his own free will. Like I believe that. Bring him back immediately. I'll call the police if you don't. I have full parental rights. You're lucky I let him see you at all. I'll have them arrest you for kidnapping. All you wanted was the rights. When we negotiated paternity, all you said you wanted were the rights. So that's what you got. If you'd bothered to read the agreement, you would have seen that you're the one with the legal right to call them your son. But I'm the one who retains the responsibility for everything else, because I have custody. What? That's ridiculous. There's no way that's right. I'm his father. I have the legal rights over him. You really know nothing about how this works, do you? Parental rights and custody are two entirely different things. Custody means that I'm his legal guardian and that he will live under my care. I'm the one with the right to give permission and decide what's best for him. Parental rights just means he's your son, legally speaking. You tricked me. I didn't do anything. 
You tricked herself. The attorney explained all of this to you, but you just ignored her and let it happen. You had plenty of opportunities to make a different decision. But you had your mind made up. You wanted the parental rights, so that's what you got. Wait, does that mean you get him and you get the house and everything else too? That's right. Don't worry. I left you enough to live off. Give me back my son and my money and my house too. Well, I would. But it's a little too late now. The house is already on the market. Don't worry. I only have the money in our joint account. It's still quite a bit, but I know you have plenty stashed away in your personal savings. And by the way, you should be getting a paper about the division of assets from my lawyer soon. I give that a good look just so you're not accidentally taking something that's no longer yours. You're stealing from me! It's not stealing if it's legal. Also, there should be information about child support with it. Make sure you stick to the payment schedule or the police will be after you to make sure you pay up. After all, I'm just a young, helpless, stupid woman with no job or way to support myself. You're the big strong man with the important job. You're the breadwinner. Go win some bread. Now that you don't have a family anymore, you should have plenty of time to earn enough to pay the bills, so no excuse for missing your payments. I can't believe this. How did you convince the judge this was okay? It wasn't that hard. I had proof that you were unfaithful to me and an unsuitable parent. Your messages went a long way to convince her that you were verbally abusive. But I had a little more evidence as well. I came across a few photos that she found to be quite revealing of who you truly are. What photos? How did you get them? Oh, it wasn't hard. Did you forget that the photos on your phone are saved to the cloud? All I had to do was look at my laptop and there it was. I have to say it's quite a good photo. You have a knack for photography. You should consider becoming a professional. What are you talking about? That's not me. It's just a photo I found on the internet. That's clearly you. I have some more with better angles if you're not convinced. How did you get a hold of this? You're too stupid to use a stove, let alone a computer. Oh, it wasn't that hard once I figured it out. Surprisingly, it was Sonny who showed me. He actually stumbled upon it while he was searching for the photos I took of his soccer game. The one you conveniently missed, by the way. Sonny caught on pretty quickly. He's such a clever kid. He showed me how to check the metadata on the photos and let me tell you, it had some interesting details. It showed when and where the photo was taken. Turns out it was snapped about a month ago, right around the area where that hotel of yours is. Technology truly is remarkable, isn't it? I can't believe Sonny was the one who showed you this. Why would he do this to me? He said he doesn't want to live with you anymore. He was complaining that his soon-to-be stepmom stinks of perfume and wears awful makeup. And all she does is complain whenever he's around. She doesn't seem to like him very much. And he doesn't seem to like her very much either. That little brat! I guess he's more like you than I thought. He's just a little idiot, just like his stupid mother. I can't help but wonder what would have happened if I had found your photos a few months ago. Maybe it would have changed things. And we wouldn't be talking about divorce. By the way, those photos are really something. You should consider showing them to people, like your co-workers. I bet someone at your workplace would appreciate them. Maybe even your boss would find them interesting. Especially considering how much that woman resembles his ex-wife. Didn't they go just through a divorce recently too? It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? Wait, what are you up to? Did you send them to him? Oh, 
Me? I didn't do anything. But you never know what might happen. My hand might slip and I'd accidentally send something to the wrong email address. If I'm as stupid as you say, who knows what I could do? I'll screw up at some point. Are you threatening me? Is this blackmail? Oh no, of course not. But you might want to send a bit extra with your child support checks. Just to make sure I don't accidentally do something silly. I can't believe you do this to me. I wouldn't say I'd do it. If anything, it'd be worse for me. How embarrassing it would be for everyone to find out about my husband cheating on me with an awful woman like that. I couldn't stand it, so don't worry. As long as I have enough money to keep me and Sonny fed, I'll be sure to pay extra careful attention to make sure nothing bad happens. No one would want that, least of all me. You better not. I'll pay. Don't worry about that. And you'll pay for his school too, I hope. That private academy you insisted on sending him to isn't cheap. Yeah? Good. I'm glad we've come to an understanding. That's all I care about. As long as Sonny is taken care of. Actually, you know what? I'll make you a deal. Let's both wash our hands of all this. Why don't you pay me everything you owe in child support in one lump sum? That way, you can just be done with it. Do you know how much money that is? There's no way I can afford that. Well, if you can't, I think you're just going to be stuck owing us until Sonny turns 18. Or really until he graduates college. You'll pay for that too, right? Yeah, whatever you say. Just delete the photos. I want to be done with this. That was a little rude, wasn't it? Shouldn't you be saying, yes, ma'am? Ugh, I can't believe this. What was that? I was distracted looking at the photos again. They really are just fantastic. I mean, yes, ma'am. Good. Now that we've come to an understanding, I expect to see things sorted on your end soon. You will. I'll let you know once I have deleted the photos. When I get around to it. Out of fear of his photos being leaked, Emmanuel complied, opening a college fund for Sonny and paying his school fees. Coincidentally, the photos circulated at his office, leading to his job loss. Although he found a new job, he struggles to make ends meet. His girlfriend left, leaving him single and financially strained. On the other hand, Sonny and I found a peaceful new apartment away from Emmanuel's chaos. Sonny excelled academically and got into a prestigious high school funded by his father. As a freshman, he shines in varsity soccer, attracting scouts for future scholarships. With divorce money, we celebrated Sonny's achievement with a trip to Florida's theme parks, excluding Manuel. Despite the challenges and divorce, I have no regrets, as I now live freely. My focus is supporting Sonny to become his best self.